There's a brother here. Where's the brother? Where is your child? Did you lose the child? Who lost the child here? The brother who lost the child here. Where is he? Come. You lost the child. The devil wants to kill you, brother. Can you see you're about to be bitten by a stroke? Yeah, it hit your me leg. here. Eh? It hit me here and I was praying against it. A stroke? Yes. Eh? Yes. So you will find your child. Hallelujah. You will find your child. Hallelujah. These people, listen. Listen, there are people. There are people who are fighting you. Yes. And it's from the family. Hallelujah, I know the person. You know the person. Yes. And God loves you. He's going to fight for you. Are you hearing me, sir? Amen. Eh? Amen. I touch your leg. Come on, you. Take him. Hey, you demon. In Jesus' name. You are free, sir. You are free. Come here, sir. Yes, good afternoon, church. Greetings in the name of Jesus. On a Sunday service last week, Sunday service our prophet, our pastor, our apostle uh, actually identified me from the crowd. I was seated there at the back. He said, There is a, a gentleman here who has a missing son. Can you please come up front? I struggled to walk, I came up front. The first thing that he stated, he said, I've got a stroke on my left uh, leg. And that was very true. Yeah, so this is the second time to be hit by this stroke since my son disappeared on the 7th of September. Uh, last year. And this boy's name is Ndomiso Chuma. And Chuma. My name is Ngomle Chuma. I'm the father of the boy. Cutting a long story short. The man of God said he never even touched me. He was up there in the pulpit. He said I must just touch here. I obeyed and I touched my left thigh. It was so solemn because it was this left thigh, it was so solemn that such that it was double the size of the right thigh. And Immediately after I said I must touch my left thigh, the pain instantly left me. I remember when I went back there, those people that I was seated with, I used just to be seated down because of the pain. I started dancing with others. And then I was carrying the photo of my missing son, which I displayed to the prophet. He looked at the fort and said, Behold, your son is coming. Through, the, through my faith in Jesus Christ, I can promise you that one day, soon and so, soon and very soon, I'll be, I'll be giving a testimony of Ndumiso Chuma having come back home. Praise God. Amen.